Hello and welcome. Good afternoon at Parramatta as we complete round 10 of the W League with Western Sydney Wanderers hosting Perth Glory. Yeah, it is a big blow for the Wanderers to be missing Lynn Williams, but that's what the W League does so well is it helps other, other countries um, pr produce superstars as well. We've seen a few players coming over from the US making it into the US national team, so good on her. He's the head of uh, Courtney Vine. And just track back and prepare for another attack. Nevin finds the back of Shannon May's head, her fellow number five. Mr. Antonio. Now Hamilton. Been such a force in attack. North Carolina courage alone. Well, Mastro Antonio, beautiful ball in, almost met. Courtney Vine, will it still be alive for Vine? Oh, great, so headed away by Perth Glory, only for Hamilton to bring it back down. And was trying to find a way through all those white shirts. Again, it's still alive and could be headed in here. What a way to start the match. Just three minutes gone on the clock. Exceptional start and wow, they're bouncing back in style. A shame that this is Denise O'Sullivan's last appearance in red and black this season. She's going to head back to Ireland to see some family and then of course she'll go with the Irish team for their World Cup qualifiers and resume pre-season with North Carolina Courage starting on the 9th of March. She's been fantastic and I think the Wanderers would really like her to stick around if they're to have this uh, charge to a first ever finals campaign. Yeah, she has been brilliant for the Wanderers. Space again for the Wanderers down the right. Oh, that's a lovely ball in! It was just wide of the post and <laughs> enormous relief from the keeper there, Eliza Campbell. Look at the uh, Wanderers coaching bench as well there with Dean Heffern and his assistants. Uh, Michael Beecham and Kath Canooley, of course, a great servant to the Wanderers herself. Haven't they had a wonderful ride so far this season? And, uh, yep, they'll certainly not be wanting it to end. Yeah, definitely not. They've come in and they've done a really good, good job restructuring the team and um, making the girls play for each other. But as well, the club, the, what the club's been putting together for them this season has definitely helped. Beautiful ball to find Harrison free. She goes with her left foot. And Isaac Campbell manages to palm it away. It's great work from Amy Harrison. Been such a, a strength at uh, NPL level in Western Australia. Yeah, look, I'm sure she feels she's ready. She's been in and around this squad for many years now, and um, it's a big step getting into into the lineup and being being on the field but I'm sure she feels ready you you mentally prepare yourself and all the players around her have to help her to pick up for this one called into action again here or not Romero clears the danger rinse and repeat probably two very different uh, debut appearances for the goalkeepers on the field today back into the mix headed away by Andrews. Almost reeled in by Mastro Antonio, but now it's Caitlin Douglas charging. She's got support on the left, and she's spotted it. Crystal Thomas coming forward now, and the Amy Harrison to beat. Thomas on time down, still alive. Still alive for Perth, and eventually that does go in the back of the net, and Perth are celebrating what a kerfuffle in the goal mouth. And you'd think the Western Sydney Wanderers will be very disappointed with that, but it is 1-1 here in Parramatta. Well done to Perth Glory. What a great build-up. Caitlin Douglas just onto the field, and she makes a brilliant run, able to slip in Thomas out wide and continues her run into the box. Wanderers unable to deal with the ball in. Courtney Newbon, good first touch. So sends it forward for Mastro Antonio, who turns it over to Shannon May. And just as quickly, it's back with the Wanderers. Now Cooper charging forward. Ops to go laterally for Harrison. 
was about to say that they'll be given an awful lot of room, but uh, Morgan Andrews picked that off beautifully. Yeah, just closed down the angle. The ball wasn't on. Amy Harrison had overcommitted to the pass, and um, Andrews has done well to pick it up. Switch from Master Antonio. Never the through ball to Hamilton was a thing of beauty. Now Kristen Hamilton, still Hamilton. Oh, still looking to cut it back. Goalkeeper was out. Courtney Vaughan finally has that goal. 2-1 advantage, the Wanderers. Beautiful team goal, great build-up. And a classy neat finish from Courtney Vaughan. What a run there from Kristen Hamilton. It's the turn here. It's the first touch. She dribbles through. She gets past Kim Carroll, and then she, all she has to do is cut it back. And Courtney Vine on the end of it puts it in the back of the net. Yes, if, um, for Denise, it's a corked hip, which was as a result of that collision just on half time. And it's just as time goes on, it's tightening up and up and up. She she didn't want to come off, obviously, uh, for reasons mentioned before. How tough she is. And you can understand why, and uh, it'd be nice that she gets some due appreciation. Though as she leaves the field, she'll uh, likely be replaced by someone coming back from injury herself, uh, Susan Ponsongcam. Been a while since we've seen her in regular action. She had a brilliant season uh, last season with in the um, New South Wales Premier League, top goal scorer and. So she knows how to find the back of the net and finally coming into some form, had, has had a few injuries over her short career. The ball's up there for the Wanderers. It was Cooper again that was there. She's claiming it may have crossed the line. Linesman says no. Yeah, Caitlin Cooper was definitely sure this one goes over the line. Oh, no. 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 Plenty of options for Newborn. Opts for Nevin down on the left. Who once again has had a, a really competent, steady game. I think it's uh, it's been a real boon for Dean Heffernan to have her on that left flank and uh, be playing with such consistency. Yeah, she's been great this season. She played a lot for us last season, um, starting most of the games there at left back, but it was her first season in in the league and, and with a team that wasn't doing so well. But this season, look at the, the squad she's got around her and she's absolutely flourishing in that position, both defensively and able to get forward and, and help in the attack and, and whip in some really good crosses. So she's been really dangerous and a key player there for Western Sydney Wanderers. Another start throw. It's initially cleared by Shannon May. Chester down by Cooper, who fires off another shot, and Aquino forced into a save. Hamilton follows up. Oh, great work from the Perth keeper. She's really had to deal without a huge amount of support or service, I guess you'd have to say, although having Douglas up there seems to have really lifted both of them. Yeah, well, they're both almost similar players. They're, they're very buzzy. They like to get on the ball. They like to dribble and run at defenders at pace, and they're both quick, so they're able to support each other. Sometimes if you have a centre front pairing where you've got one player who's more of a hold-up attacker and one fast player, um, it can work and it can be really dangerous, but other times you haven't got the support because you've got one player who can't keep out, up with the other. But in this second half, they've managed to, to find their feet a little bit and um, creating some really dangerous opportunities. And time ticking away. If uh, Perth want to find that equaliser, Wanderers keep pushing forward, hoping to get that extra goal. And there it is, right on the five-minute mark to go. The Wanderers have added a goal. They now have a two-goal cushion, and it is 3-1 to the Wanderers here in Parramatta. And none other than Courtney Nevin, who we were speaking about earlier. Such a dangerous player when she goes forward. Unfortunately, Aquino couldn't deal with uh, the ricochet off her, uh, off her own defensive player, and it goes into the back of the net. Well, there we have it, the final whistle. Wanderers are back with a bang. We wondered how they would recover, how they'd work out Aside with all the injury losses, Western Sydney Wanderers finish this one. Three goals 
to Perth Glory's one.